Hi everyone, my name is Noel Packer, and I'm a project geologist at Sequent. And in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to create a slicer set in LeapFrogWorks. And in this example, I've already added the geological model, along with the boreholes and tunnel design to the scene. Once I have what I want displayed in the scene, I'll create a slice in the general orientation I want the slicer set to run. Then in the shapes list, I will choose the type of slice I want in the scene. and then edit the properties of the slicer in the properties panel. For a comprehensive guide on how to use the slicer tool, search for the 3D scene in the LeapFrog help page and navigate to the slicing through data section. And once I have the slice I want created, I will go to the Properties panel and select Create Set. We'll then open up a window that allows me to change the location, the dip and dip azimuth, as well as the step size of the slicer set. I can also make changes to the location, dip, and dip azimuth directly in the scene using the arrows on the slicer plane. For this example, I will move the slicer set to the middle of the borehole data. and adjust the dip and dip azimuth back to 90 each. I will then increase the step size to 40. I will then increase the number of slices to the front and the back of the slicer set. The maximum number of slices one can create to the front or the back is 50 for a total of 100 slices. And once I'm happy with the layout of my slicer set, I will hit OK. And I can then navigate to those individual slices from the drop down menu to the right of my slicer object in a shapes list. And that's how you create a slicer set in LeapFrogWorks.